Good morning, beds. Well, it's not really morning time. It's like 11 a.m. Today, we're gonna be putting up the Halloween tree and decorating for fall and all that stuff. And my aunt and uncle are coming over, I think, later on tonight. So I need to pick up the house and do some cleaning. But I was starving, so I made a meal so many corn dogs and fries before i continue on cleaning because i already picked up some stuff but definitely not all the way done i recently rediscovered mini corn dogs i forgot how good these things are so good but yeah like i said need to pick up the house need to clean the kitchen the living room the bathroom it shouldn't take that long but that's what i always think that it always ends up taking way longer than i thought it would so hopefully i can get all of that done in a timely matter okay i've literally taken like two bites and i think i need a hit i can tell things just aren't settling right like they should be and this meal just isn't tasting as busted as it should either i'm low as fuck on bud though so we need to spare this out I haven't taken a hit yet today though, so I should be able to just take one and feel fine for a while. I have been waiting later in the day to smoke just so I don't get like tired as fuck and want to take a nap in the middle of the day, you know? But if I take a hit and then just start cleaning, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'll stay pretty motivated to just keep going. And at least I'll be feeling good while I'm cleaning, so it'll make it more fun. <laughs> Literally out of my sativa. That's not good. Is there any in here? A little. Oh, kind of random too, but I think I think I'm like shadow banned or something like that. I was for like a little bit a couple months ago, like at the beginning of the year, I think. And then it went away and I noticed like, oh wow, yeah, definitely not shadow banned anymore. But I think I am again. Don't really know what to do about that besides be good in the eyes of you two. But um, that doesn't always work with me. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Didn't I mention at the beginning of summer too how I wanted to start daily vlogging? Huh. <laughs> yeah, don't know how happened with that i think time just went by too fast guys kind of bummed that i did drop the ball on that over the summer i mean pfft, can still start anytime i want and honestly looking back on it what would i have vlogged this summer me doing the same thing every day that's not fun like my schedule doesn't change up that much from day to day sometimes but not really <laughs> let me take this i'm not gonna take it on camera though because i don't want this to get angel strip dead Now I'm gonna finish my lunch. That's nice. This is definitely taking longer than I wanted it to. I just want to shower and not feel ugly anymore. The house is pretty much picked up, so I'm just going to pick up my room really quick so I don't really have to worry about it when I'm all clean and showered, you know? So I'm just going to pick up everything and then I'm going to take a shower because I feel gross. I feel so much better. I'm literally so excited to decorate the tree and put up all the fall and Halloween decorations. Cleaned up the kitchen and living room and like swiffered the floors and everything. So everything is ready to go. My hair is just not... Like, I wish these front pieces of my hair didn't get like that, you know? Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's because I put my hair behind my ears. But how do people not? Like, if I don't, like, I can't see anything. Like, I literally have to have my hair behind my ears, and some people can just function 
not like that and i don't understand how like i don't know how to explain it but i just wish my hair was wavy like this like it is right here but it's uh, not having a good hair day i'm gonna take this hit off camera again because i don't want to get in trouble cheers <laughs> much better <coughs> <coughs> Hey friends, new day. Still getting ready for fall and decorating. Decorated the living room and stuff. Got like the Halloween tree up, but I want to decorate my room a little bit and make it a little folly. Even though I don't have that many decorations, want to add a little bit of cozy folliness to it, you know. Gonna take a little rip first though to get in the cozy decorating fall mood if you guys hear some weird noises too just ignore it there's like a plumber here working on something probably not the best time to be filming this right now but i wanted to decorate Hi. What? Ooh. Yes. 99 cent any size. Cream. My dad just gave me some coupons for Dairy Queen. 99 cent any size blizzard treat with purchase of other uh, blizzard. That's a steal. And 99 cent peanut buster parfait with purchase of peanut buster parfait at regular menu price. Love some good coupons. <laughs> I'm honestly low key starting to get more excited for christmas time shit i know i'm getting ready for fall <laughs> but i just want to be able to watch christmas movies so bad and drink hot chocolate and all that fun stuff wear my christmas pjs with my christmas socks i have halloween socks but i don't have any halloween pjs maybe i should get some does old navy do halloween pjs like they do for the it's monday night football where the heck did my lighter go? I've been cleaning up my room because it was really fucking messy. And now I'm misplacing things. What in the world? Oh my gosh, it was right in front of my freaking face that whole time. I picked up some new goodies today too, and I got this new sativa by Kush Kush called Fruit Punch Number no. 6. And when I first took a hit of it, it really caught me off guard, almost kind of threw up, and that sounds bad, <laughs> obviously. But not because it was like bad bud or anything like that. I just like took a rip, and the taste was so potent i could not believe it like the smell was really good and strong i was like Ooh, cool. but the way it tasted was exactly the way it smelled <laughs> if that makes sense it was a lot and now i'm prepared for that so I won't be caught off guard yes i just have another moment that we need to show your dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. all righty Okay, so you guys probably saw these in the living room, but I got these pumpkin string lights from Walmart. $5.98, I got some from my room also because I just thought they were so cute. These are actually the last ones, so I felt pretty lucky to have been able to get the last one. And it's 10 lights, so I think I'm going to put these like on my bed headboard right there. And then I also got these orange lights, and I was originally going to put these around my window, but now that it's like nighttime i have my windows closed and everything and you can't even like see around my windows like i guess i could technically put these like on my 
curtain rod, but it would just get too difficult opening and closing my curtains. So I think I'm gonna put these around my mirror right here instead so that I have some pop of fall orange over there and then a little pop of fall orange right there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Should probably make sure these lights work. These were like leftover lights from decorating the living room. So I took them so I could decorate my so that I could decorate my room. That's what I usually do with like our decorations, like any decorations that are left from decorating like the living room and stuff like that, I'll take it to my room. Awesome, all of them work. Cool, so these can definitely go around my mirror and I should probably make sure that these work since I just bought them. I don't know why they went, but you never know. They were really cheap. Okay, these work too, but I just need to figure out how to untangle them. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't remember them coming like this the first time I got them for the living room. Oh my gosh, it's getting so much longer. Now I'm starting to second guess if the one in the living room is all the way untangled. I just don't remember doing this before. Okay, there we go. These are so cute. It was actually my idea to get the pumpkins for the living room. My mom thought that they weren't gonna match the aesthetic that they were going for, but I was like, no, they totally will. And she ended up loving them. So can't wait to put them up in my room. They are so cute. I love them so much. I've genuinely always wanted little pumpkin lights like this. I just think they're so cute. Got the lights up around my mirror. And I didn't realize that the string of lights was actually two strands, so I could wrap it around my mirror again. But I think I'm gonna try to do something else with the other strand, add some more orange around my room. Don't know what I wanna do yet though, because I still don't think I wanna do my window. <laughs> All right, settled on the window because I didn't know what else to do. And I honestly don't even really like the way it looks, but I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll come up with something else, but for now, that's what we got going on. And the mirror also, so cute. That's as folly as it's gonna get, and I love it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start unwinding for the night, though. Turn off all the lights, light a candle, enjoy the fall cozy vibes. Probably crochet and watch Drag Race. You know the vibes. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready for fall with me. Let me know if you guys also decorated for fall or if you do a Halloween tree or anything like that. We started doing it like two years ago and it's become an official tradition. And I love it because I feel like it just makes it feel like the holiday last longer and makes it more exciting you know oh i want to show you guys this candle that i've been using too it's from bath and body works and it's not really a fall candle it's technically like a christmas candle it's spiced gingerbread and it seriously smells so fucking good i feel like it's a perfect mix of like a fall candle and like a christmas candle so that's why i've been using it right now and every year i get my candles when bath and body works has like their big annual candle sale i think it's like the first weekend of december or something like that all of their candles are like 12 something i believe i think they're half off which they're usually like almost 25 dollars, which is kind of insane for a fucking candle i mean i get it bath and body works candles do smell really fucking good but they're a little pricey oh my god actually they're 20 $6.50 as of last year. It says right here on the bottom. And they might even be more expensive now. That's so crazy. Definitely worth it to get it when they're half off though because this smells so fucking good. And it doesn't even just make my whole room smell good. It makes the whole house smell good. Like when I have my door open, it goes throughout the whole house. So love this one. Smoke weed every day.